Good afternoon all, uh, this is Scott McCutcheon with Sovereign Studios and I'm here to show you my progress on this um, on Soldier. Uh, the last couple videos I made, Soldier was a side-scrolling event um, essentially just a simple side-scrolling game, you collect the orbs and it spawns the Chimera. Um, in my last video uh, you'll see where I had shown this, which is the the 3D version of the Meyer that I had created. Uh, again, I know it looks nothing like the kind of Meyer, but the idea is to kind of give it the same feel. Um, so this is what I have come up with so far. You know, the purple mist is there, the sound is there, um, even the player is way movable. It's no longer a 2D side scroller. Um, I, I made a 3D rotating camera, 360 degrees. Uh, you can even zoom in on the guy and uh, and zoom out. Um, you'll notice that the player pawn is very poorly rigged and still animated with the uh, stock UDK or UT3 animations, I should say. Um, I don't know anything about rigging animation, so it's it's all pretty new to me. Uh, it's the first time I've really done stuff like this. Um, so I'm still working on it, um, but so far, you know, it's done all right. Um, so the the idea is, uh, so far, you just you can run over to the runic lamp here, and when you get in proximity of it, um, it'll spawn the chimera down in the pit there. And I've kind of set him up on path nodes, and he'll just randomly um, kind of patrol between those path nodes. Um, I kept the double jump functionality from the original platformer. Um, I'm going to have a, a lock-on system where I guess you can lock onto the target and kind of like attack him. Um, for now he's still able to just fire like the UT3. And uh, that's pretty much what I got. Uh, so you can see the Chimera is not animated at all. Uh, and the lighting's pretty poor. So he just kind of glides <laughs> along the floor. Um, but the thing I'm working on right now is the uh, user interface. You can see down in the bottom left corner the HP and MP uh, window there um, that I'm going to be working on. And then I'm going to, you know, make uh, menus and stuff like that here shortly. Uh, basically, I, I implemented that through a series of uh, Unreal scripts um, that allowed it to utilize Kismet. Uh, and I can basically just plug in the the scenes, I guess, or the images that I've created for menus using Kismet, um, which made it overly easy uh, for me to, to apply that stuff. Um, so this is pretty much what I've gotten so far. Um, I could actually use some help with it if anyone interested in Final Fantasy is also a UDK hobbyist, because um, it's a pretty big task for one guy. And... Uh, I'm pretty stacked as far as projects go, you know, so I don't really have a ton of time to work on it and keep it, you know, uh, progressing quickly. So, um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much that. I just wanted to kind of show it off and show you guys what I've been doing um, with Soldier as is. Uh, I've, I haven't, you know, stopped developing, so um, that's how that is. Alright, thanks for watching.